Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're doing a 12 minute slow and intense ab workout. You don't need any equipment, just make sure you have something soft beneath you and you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, we are going to start off on our backs. You're gonna have legs up in the air. You're going to do a crunch. Holding this crunch position, you're gonna drop the legs nice and slow to where you can keep that back on the floor. Bring them back up, still holding this crunch position, and lower. Keep that neck nice and long, keep your chest open. Good, we are working in sets of two today. So your second exercise in this set, you're gonna be up on your elbows or on your forearms. Legs are at a 90 degree angle. You're going to extend and then you're gonna drop one leg Bring it up, drop the other leg, bring it up, and bring it in. Again, nice and slow. Keep that pelvis tilted towards you so that your low abs are engaged. You're gonna feel this one in your lower abs. Keep that chest open. work. Taking a 15 second rest, we're going to come back down on our backs. Starting off with that first exercise again. Legs are straight. You're going to hold this crunch position. Chest is open. Dropping those legs nice and slow. Slowly bringing them back up and control lower down. Lower back should stay pressed to the floor the entire time. Good work. Coming up to your elbows. Remember to tilt that pelvis towards you so you're tucking your bum under. Legs come up, extend them out, drop one leg, bring it up, and the other leg. So you're just tapping that heel on the ground. You're not actually placing any weight in that heel on the leg that you drop. Good work. That was our first set. We have two more sets to go. We're gonna come into a high plank next. From here, you're going to extend, bringing one leg through, slowly coming back to plank. If you need to, you can keep that foot on the floor and bring it back. If you wanna make it a little bit harder, you keep it nice and elevated and come back nice flat plank.
Keep both hands flat on the floor. Good, second exercise, we're on our backs. Legs are bent, feet are flat on the floor. You're gonna slide your hands up your legs towards your knees. And we're just doing a nice slow crunch. So, neck is long, getting those shoulder blades up off the floor and we're controlling, coming nice and slow down. As you come down to the bottom of this crunch, don't let that lower back go. Keep it pressed flat to the floor. Repeating those two again, coming into a plank. When you're doing this, try and keep your upper body as still as possible. You are going to have to shift your weight, so it will move slightly. But when you're kicking the leg through, we shouldn't be like opening up the shoulders here. We wanna keep everything nice and flat or as flat as possible. When you're doing these crunches, try and lift yourself as high as you can go. So reach those fingertips as far as they can go up your legs. Good, you can stay down here on your back. This is our last set, your first exercise. You're gonna start with your legs out. You're gonna bring it in for a reverse crunch, almost. And then you're going to lift the hips up, up off the floor, directing your heels straight up to the ceiling. So we're lifting the hips up using those low abs. Then you're gonna drop them down, bring them in and up. Drop them down, keep that low back pressed to the floor, bring them in and up. Second exercise, staying down here on your back. Heels are together, knees are apart. We're gonna try and bring our elbows to our knees here for a crunch without pulling on our neck. We wanna keep the chest open and the neck long. And remembering to do these nice and slow and controlled.
good. Give yourself a 15 second rest. Going back to that leg drop with our hip raise. So lift those heels up directly towards the ceiling versus up over your head. You wanna really use those lower abs. Good work, one more exercise to go. Doing those butterfly crunches. So knees are open. Really press that back into the floor as much as possible. Shoulder blades up off the floor. it guys great job i hope you enjoyed this quick 12 minute core workout if you did give this video a thumbs up let me know in the comments down below how you enjoyed it and if you're new here hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me and i will see you guys next time bye